Okay, folks, here we are. I know you can't see real good in the shop. We'll have this thing outside for too long. I, I actually rolled it out yesterday and done a little cleaning up in here. Still got a mess, but a lot better than it was. And uh, so we've got our, our bumper painted, our ends on. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got the lights there. And what I was talking about when I was saying uh, mounting them up and down, and I should explain myself a little better because uh, I should have known that, uh, you know, I was... Uh, being too vague on that but uh, I don't want to move them up higher I want to leave them down where they're at but as you can see I've got them bolted in from the side and I want to move them up and down so that blue light is actually up on top and so I I need to make a bracket for each side or, or come up with something for a bracket so we're probably going to do that and uh, went to a friend of mine's house last or yesterday or actually I went and met him somewhere and uh, I was looking for a scoop for this. I wanted the old school aluminum scoop, and uh, I could have bought one. It was about eighty dollars. I just didn't want to spend the money on it, not for you know what it was. And uh, so I got a hold of a well, actually the first friend I got a hold of. I just asked him if he knew where there was a scoop at, you know, carb mounted scoop that uh, I could get. I didn't want a hood scoop, but uh, anyway, he said, "Well, I've got one," and uh, he uh, of course he wouldn't let me pay him for it because he you know he knew what it was for. So. Uh, Anyway, I'll stick it on there and I'll show you what we've got. Okay, here's what we've got. we got an old shotgun scoop. And uh, these are, I don't know, I started seeing these a few years back, but uh, this is an aluminum polished. Don't have the flappers for it, so what I plan to do is I'm going to build two pieces that slide in. What we'll do, we'll, we'll take maybe some uh, half inch wide, three quarter inch wide uh, flat steel. We'll roll it in our or slip roll out there and we'll actually make it where it slides in there and then we once we slide it in we can put a screw through to hold it but I've got some uh, metal with holes in it that I'm going to actually uh, mount on that that ring and then we'll paint it red and then I think I'm going to paint some eyeballs on it and just the old school style and I think you know grading will like that and uh, when this is done and on you know it's going to cover everything and it'll actually look good it just I don't have it mounted at all or anything made for it so we're going to run that and then we're going to uh, put the five inch side pipes on which that's about five inch too so it's actually going to make it look pretty decent I think and uh, I've done some other things I changed the solenoid out I've I put heavier battery cables on it I changed it to a automotive solenoid done away with that little uh, lawnmower solenoid um, and I've still, like I said, I've got to adjust the valve. So uh, just some little stuff left. We're going to have her knocked out. But uh, anyway, show you where I was at and what I'm doing and where I'm going with it. And uh, and these light spots you see right here, uh, that's nail holes in my roof. It's the light shining through. The sun's actually shining. It's cold, but it's shining. But anyway, we're getting there. Uh, show you more. Okay, folks, we're moving along. I've got the shifter hooked up. Uh, got an old B&M shifter handle or knob on it and uh, so we got forward and reverse now that was kind of a pain and I had to make some linkage for it you know of course the shifter goes forward and back but in the transmission it goes this way so you got to make a bell crank to come around and I got all adjustable linkage and everything so we're good to go on that I'm gonna do a little work on the brakes and then I'm gonna get up under it and or get started on the uh, side pipes I think after I get the brakes and maybe the rest of the pipe run out the back so all right okay I'm gonna show you where I'm at what I got going on here and then uh, I think the next video will be the last one uh, we're getting close uh, as you can see I painted everything painted this silver a couple little nicks in it hopefully it won't leak we don't need antifreeze and water pouring everywhere right and then uh, I have got the side pipe on or sitting on as you can see I haven't cleaned them up or anything I got a little bit of straightening out to do there at the end and then I've got to clean it up and uh, that's about how it's going to sit and we'll make it where he can step up on it to be able to get in and like I said just for looks okay they're just going to come up I'm probably just going to cap this end off up here but to make it look like it's something right, I've got these old heat shields off of a Harley. 
and I think they're off the of Harley. I mean, it could be off something else, but uh, I believe they were. Anyway, this is going to go in here, and I'm going to put a plate on it and screw it into the, the heat shield on the engine, and then it comes down, and it looks like it's coming into the pipe, and you know, that'll, that'll make it look like the exhaust is actually hooked up and working, even though it's not. And uh, so we'll get that done. And let me see, the blue exhaust is finished up out the back, as you can see. And uh, I had to run it a little lower on this side because of that rear end housing, the way it's made. But uh, we got that, we got it clamped up really good. It's not going anywhere. I, you know, I didn't want to weld it on permanent or anything like that. And I'll start it up and let you hear it. This pipe won't rattle too bad. Oops, this is a two handed deal. I gotta push the brake pedal. Okay, so we just have a few little things to finish up on it, and uh, I've still got to bush these wheels where I want them, clean the rims up, polish them, and then bolt our back pieces on. And of course our, our hood scoop, or our, uh, shotgun scoop, I guess is what it is. They look pretty good since the pipes are, well they're actually about the same size, so. Okay, anyway, that's where we're at, and uh, uh, it's possible I may have it done tomorrow, but, you know, it depends on how many toes I get and how much I, you know, other stuff I end up having to do, but I just want to show you where we was, and short video to, to let you know that I'm getting close, I'm about done, and uh, as for the, the uh, four-wheel drive truck, uh, you know, the only thing I really have to do is change the rear end and throw that radiator I've got in it and the antifreeze and water that way she can drive it and test it out so we're going to try to get that done uh, between now and Christmas weather's supposed to be pretty decent but uh, warm wise but we'll get it anyway uh, we'll keep at this and I'll show you more as I go alright till next time bye